Welcome to this video on using dictionaries in Python. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to explain why a dictionary looks like a set. I'm going to show you how to create a dictionary and how to access an item in that dictionary. We're then going to see how you can add and remove items from a dictionary and how you can change the values. We're then going to move on to check whether a particular key exists and to demonstrate how a value doesn't just have to be a value, it can be a list of values. So let's have a look at creating a dictionary. Here we have a dictionary with three definitions. What we've got on the left hand side are the keys that are being used and on the right hand side are the values of those keys. So think about it as looking up a word in a dictionary. On the left is the word that you're looking up and on the right is that definition. Obviously a key can only appear once in exactly the same way as in a set. In sets in the previous videos you saw if you had two copies of the book Oliver Twist the set only showed you one. In exactly the same way dictionaries can only have one item with a particular key. You can't have two versions of Comp 1811. So in that respect, they're very similar to, if not the same as, sets, which is why they use curly brackets as well. The difference is that you have this colon here that separates the key and the value. So for the key Comp 1811, the value is brilliant. For the key Hold 1234, the value is hard but good, and so on. So let's move on to some running code. So how do we get it to show the value of a particular dictionary definition? Well, you just ask it for it. It's quite simple. Supposing we wanted to know what the value for Comp 1811 was. We just say modules and then the module that we wanted, Comp 1811 in this case. So it gives us back the value. So Comp 1811 is brilliant. But we can do more than that. We can add, change and delete items in a dictionary. We can make the values different if we want to. We can't change the keys, but we can change the values. So we can add a new value just by telling, we can add a new definition by just telling it what the key and the value is. So if I wanted to add a module called Fred9876 and to have that have a value of very clever, that's all I need type. There's no add or append or anything else. I just type it in. If I want to change the value of a definition, I can just give the name of the item that I want to change. So in this case, Comp 1811, I'm changing from brilliant to even more brilliant. But we can also get rid of something by popping it. I always think of a balloon when I see that. We can say pop show 2923 and that gets rid of it. So what we end up with is a different dictionary of modules. We end up with Comp 1811 being even more brilliant. We get and we get a new module, Fred 9876, that's very clever. But it's not added in any particular place. In this case it's been added at the end, but that wouldn't always be the case. Quite often we want to check whether a particular definition in our dictionary exists. Does note 1921 exist? Well if it does we may want to do one thing and if it doesn't we may want to add it to the dictionary say. So we need to be able to check and the way we do that is with a simple if statement. If note 1921 in modules, so if it's there, print out this module exists else print no such module in this dictionary. Now we may have different code under the if and the else to the ones we've got here but that's merely a programming function. In this case we know that note 1921 isn't in our dictionary so it prints no such module in this dictionary. Finally in this video we're going to move on to a dictionary item whose value is a list. 
So where we've got a new module being created, Mary 1111, the value of that is going to be a range of numbers from 7 to 17 going up in steps of 2. We could print now modules Mary 1111, which is the key that we're using. We're going to the first list, list 0, and there we're going to the fourth item, item 3, and it says that that's 13 because the zeroth item is 7, the item 1 is 9, item 2 is 11, and item number 3 is 13. Now you know how to use dictionaries, and they're really flexible and really helpful when you're doing real programming.